Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. With the release of Cricut's newest heat press, the Hat Press, there are lots of opinions about this new gadget. One is that people don't necessarily need it if they have a Mini Easy Press because they feel like they can do all of the same things with the Mini Easy Press that they can do with the Hat Press. So we are going to test that theory today. We're going to be comparing the Hat Press with the Mini Easy Press doing five different projects. We're going to use HTV on this glass canister. We're going to use HTV on these wooden measuring cups. We're going to use HTV on baseballs. We're going to use HTV on this lampshade. And I don't know why this is popular, but sublimating toilet paper is for some reason very popular right now. So we're going to sublimate on this toilet paper. Again, we're going to be using the Easy Press on one piece. I've cut out two graphics for each individual project. So we'll be using the hat press to apply one and we'll be using the easy press to apply the other. Now I haven't tested out any of these projects. I haven't tested out use of any of these things. And so my speculation before we get started is that the easy press, especially with the heat transfer vinyl will work as effectively as the hat press. My only thought is that with sublimation on this toilet paper roll, the hat press may work a little better because it is curved and there's more even heat applied on the sublimation, but we'll see. Okay, we are going to start out with this baseball first and I have just cut out some HTV here. This is just a name. We may have to put some relief cuts in here, we'll see. We'll place this on here. Then I'm going to put the two on in just a minute. This doesn't really wanna stick, so I'm gonna grab some heat resistant tape to help it stick down. Okay, now that I have these relief cuts on here, and if you don't know what a relief cut is, when you're putting heat transfer vinyl or vinyl on something that's curved, a lot of times you need to come in and cut the transfer so that it allows it to lay down a little bit. And as you can see, it's still not completely laying down. I don't know, these are leather baseballs. Uh, I don't know if there's a coating, like a wax coating or something like that that's making the transfer tape not stick, uh, but that, heat resistant tape has worked out. So what I'm going to do first is grab the hat press and it is preheated to the second heat setting. And we will go ahead and apply heat to this one. And then I'll apply heat again with the easy press preheated to the heat setting on the, the second heat setting. And then we'll do the second ball. Okay, so first impressions on the hat press versus easy press with the balls is that the easy press, in my opinion, did a better job. It was easier to hold and a little bit less awkward on these smaller balls. Um, and I, you can see I had a little bit of an issue right here. I think primarily because it was so big um, and moving it around causes this part to come back up. Whereas I was able to just use the very tip of the mini easy press here. This one looks pretty perfect. Um, so my preference for the baseball is the easy press. However, this one did work. Now let's move on to our glass canisters and we'll apply the hat press one first and then the mini easy press. So with this one, the easy press never, I don't know if it's because it was flat and, and it doesn't get to touch everything as well as the curved one, but for this particular project, the hat press was my preference. Um, obviously, HTV is not ideal for glass, but um, it did adhere better with the hat press than this easy press did. Um, there were some spots that I hit several times and it still never actually stayed down with the mini easy press. So um, hat press wins this one. Now we are going to do the wooden measuring cups.
Okay, between the hat press and the easy press on the HTV and wood, I really don't have a preference one versus the other. I think if I were doing like a larger bowl or something and putting HTV on, maybe I might prefer the hat press, but as far as application on these, I really don't have a preference. I will say if I'm doing a super large bowl, then the curvature on this is semi-limiting um, because I wouldn't obviously be able to get in the curve of this on a larger bowl. So that's something to consider as well. But let's move on to our lampshade. Okay, so as you can see here, we hit some snags. Um, we honestly thought this would happen. This is a cheaper lampshade. It has a plastic backing, and so it has sort of warped. Well, not sort of. It definitely has warped. Um, but as far as application goes, if this were a more expensive lampshade that were all fabric, I don't think that I would have a preference on mini easy press versus the hat press. Um, maybe the hat press just because it would probably take a little bit less time since it's heating more area at a time. Obviously this is not a beautiful outcome, but it gives you an idea um, of application for the two. Now we're moving on to our sublimation, our last item here, and we'll start with the hat press. Okay, hat press versus easy press. You can see the hat press is a little bit darker than the easy press. So for this particular project, the hat press was my preference. So overall, I would say if you're considering purchasing a hat press versus an easy press, think about the projects that you will be using. For us personally, the easy press is, it makes more sense. Um, if you are going to be doing sublimation projects more on hats or around objects like this, then the hat press would probably be your preference. But if you don't plan to do any sublimation, maybe ixnay that hat press and go for the easy press. If you enjoyed this comparison and you enjoy other content like this, then make sure you subscribe here to the YouTube channel. Also like this video if you like it and let us know if you have any questions. Our community here at Oak and Lamb is all about educating you on so many different sorts of craft genres and also doing tests for you so that you don't have to waste your time and money trying to figure out things like this. If you'd like to be a member of the Oak and Lamb community, click the link below and sign up. You can sign up monthly or yearly to be a part of the Oak and Lamb flock. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you here another day for another video.